welcome back. So this uh, should come as no surprise, but um, yeah, previously we had worked on this word bot so that it could be connected to either Twitch or to Discord. Um, and so we copied uh, the discord.py example bot and we have since augmented it with a couple commands, one for bingo, one for define. We can take a list of words, define them all using the Collins Word Dictionary. Um, that's not what CSW stands for, but it's the International English Dictionary. Look up the definitions, print them out, separated by new line characters. And I figured, oh yeah, this adds a new dependency to Wordsmith. Um, I figured I should probably um, add all the remaining commands, which is mostly going to be copy and paste, but at least I could show you how it's done, right? Um, then later on we can deal with the Harrier issue, which is how are we going to ever get this deployed? Because of my cloud instance, I don't have enough memory to run two instances of this bot. Um, anyway. So, we took a command from TwitchBot here where we said bingo and went over to this file, uh, Discord bot. Um, and then this Discord bot we have, there's the bingo command. And so, next, I guess I want to take a different command and copy it over. Um, I mean, I could just copy all the commands. It's just going to be a pain. Um, shout out doesn't really make sense on Discord, although we could do it. And to do a event message check. Oh, okay. So I had introduced a command check to see whether a word exists in the lexicon. Um, Right, let's copy that idea here. Um, and I guess while we're doing that, um, if the message starts with check, and let's take this, get the words. I wonder. Oh wait, no, I'm not going to be printing that out on every check comparison. Also, the maximum message length is probably in excess of 500. Um, so let me grab this. 56 up through here. 44. Um, drop that over here. And then... What I'm wanting to change here is not define, but I'm wanting to call the check command. There we go. Uh, easy peasy. So we got the check command now implemented. Uh, except that check has fewer characters than define, so we'll trim the first seven off. All right, next command. Uh, what do I want other than check? We got check, we got define. I'm not implementing lexicon right now, and I'm implementing shoutout. Related. Um, yeah, related sounds. Sure, why not? So, 66 through here. Um, so, otherwise, if the command here is called related. I'm not exactly sure what designates a relation, um, but let's take a look at how related's implemented here. We call the function dictionary related. So over here we want to call dictionary not defined, but related. All right, we've implemented three commands. What next? Starts with, ends with, I think these will be singleton things. Also, I don't think anybody in Discord is going to be using them, any of these pattern words, so I'm not going to bother implementing them just yet. Um, anagram. Anagram has some 
value. Random has some value. Um, all right, so yeah, I guess I want to take the bingo command and turn it into a random command. Uh, so where's my bingo? Here it is. Yank these four. So if the command is literally the word random, uh, search without a length restriction. Um, all right. And yeah, the other one I guess I want to implement would be anagram. So to call, to invoke anagram, I would have to call anagram underscore one. All right, I can do that. Instead of define, instead of check, we're going to call anagram underscore one. All right, so we have to turn on two additional characters off front. Instead of calling check, we call anagram underscore one. And that does that. So this should all be implemented at this point. And there we are connected to the Discord server where everybody is super well behaved. All right, and we could say anagram uh, retains and see if this works. And it does not. And this fails because something. Um, Oh, is this expecting a list and I'm providing it a singleton? Is that what happened here? Uh, our single parameter. On uh, line 53, this failed. New line dot join definitions. Oh, definition's also not a very good term for this. Um, also, the delimiter length is not semicolon space, it's just Wait, what? Control X decrements the number by one. Um, let's see, we're using a new line delimiter instead of something else. But let me take a look at anagram underscore one usage. Okay. Oh, all right. Um, yeah, I guess I'll... Ay, ay, ay. Fine. So, I predict that I will make errors in copying this code over. So, if we have words, then instead of doing this await like this here, we're going to... The message is going to join using a new line character, not a semicolon. Um, we're still going to call this result, right? Results. And down here, we're going to still send a message to the Discord channel. It's still going to be called MSG. And we can print out the length of the message we're about to transmit. Sure, why not? Um, and what else is Discordy? That's not... All right, we don't have this self here. We are going to assume CSW for now. Um, word and words. Count words, etc. That's probably fine. Oh, length is not going to be... Yeah, we're going to trim off the first character, not the first two. Um, that's probably okay. Yeah, so wherever I have this minus two indicating the length that I'm adding, there we go. Yeah, our delimiter length is one, not two. Um, all right, so check define related. 
I could look at the usage of the command related. Is there some special something here? Message num and msg. All right, so this also has a similar thing going on here. Um, so related. Yeah, let's just copy the anagram code here. 58 up through 43. Um, merge that in down here. Indentation's the same, except instead of calling anagram underscore one, we're going to call related. Uh, I think that's the extent of it. Um, Because these are not definitions we're talking about. These are similar words. These are inflections or related words. All right, so yeah, this should print out X results and then Y being um, all the results. Wait, count? Um, yeah, result. And then after result there, okay. So that's right. Um, well, I think that'll work. Should we try this again? Are we connected? We appear to be connected. Um, all right, let's try this. Well, that's unfortunate. Engine is not def oh right. <laughs> so engine is invoked from inflect up there. Um, for this to work, we will require use of the inflection engine. Um, I don't recall what random is used for here. I mean, okay, so both of them... Yeah, I don't think I need to import random in this use. Uh, Twitch bot. Oh, rd.choice, here. This randomly samples a quote out of the quote file. Fine, if you were doing custom commands, that would make sense. Um, all right, while that's getting set up, let's copy this, purge one of these redundant messages. Is the bot going? It's connected. There we go. All right. Uh, anagram. Uh, Mu I'm sorry. M M U U U U S and Squirty. Show me anagrams for these. Nice. Um all right, yeah, Deuterium here is trying to do some machine learning stuff. I don't think it's gonna Yeah. Sorry, Deuterium. I think it's not going to work out between your bot and our objective. Um, so I guess... I don't know if there's a command to ask Deuterium to leave, but um, we'll figure that out. We've done a lot of training of Deuterium, and it has not learned anything. Or at least it's not suggested anything remotely interesting. Um, so that's fine. But yeah. Um, here we are, get add discord bot, get log, so, um, implement basic commands, 
and then push that up to the cloud and anybody who so cares to run the bot and have it attached to Discord can do so. I guess I'll do so for my own Discord. I'll just leave that up and running. The... Wait, is that still running, I wonder? Um... Yeah, I think I need to no hop it for that to stay active. I think if I don't no hop it, the spot will terminate. Uh, no hop Python three wordsmith.py in background. Um, wait, did it really sig hop anyway? No. Okay. So yeah. That's fine. So we've fully escaped from having that run. Uh, the bot's still up and running. Alright, mission accomplished. We've implemented some super basic commands here. We can observe that the bot can in fact connect to Discord using parameters that have been set in some configuration file and uh, can do things like bingo, random word, anagram, and so forth. So that was not so painful. Somehow I thought, I imagine that almost all of my experience, experiments will be painful and most of them are, but this one isn't. So let's be thankful for that.